Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys, so we are getting some stuff done here. Let's see, what do we got? We are halfway through this drought. We've got 9.8 days left. It was a 20 day drought, so we're not looking too bad there. Let's go ahead and get the speed going again. Um. <laughs> this. This one pump over here is pumping so much of this water out, it's maintaining the level of this big reservoir, which is awesome, because that's what its original purpose was, was to uh, hold just a huge amount of water, so that if I had to use water anywhere, we would, we would have it, and here we are. So that is like super awesome, I like it, I'm digging it. Yeah, we need to get these guys over here working on stuff. Uh, let's see. Too far from the builders. Okay, so what you're telling me is that you would like a road. How about now? Are we satisfied? Yes, we are. All right, y'all go do that. Work on that. Let's see. Okay, so they did get that one finally finished. Uh, what do we got here? No unemployed beavers in the district. No recipe. I have to select a recipe. Hold on. We have options. Scrap metal. Scrap metal efficient. Oh. Wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Employs miners who extract scrap metal from underground ruins. Innovative design maximizes mining speed. It must be built on the ground. Okay, we've got that. Unique to faction. Got that. So you're telling me it's going to take one gear and one treated plank in order to make three. Okay, I didn't realize that we were going to have to do that. And if we do this one, it's going to be one gear, one treated plank, and one dynamite in order to get six. Wow, that's, uh, that was something I'm not, I wasn't fully prepared for that. Okay, um, so we, we need, so we're going to need some more industry. Okay, okay. So yeah, I mean we had I mean we only have the one got the one building making the uh treated planks. Um now I'm trying to decide on how much metal I actually need versus how many treated planks I want to build. Uh decisions. Okay, well that's good to know at least. So we're gonna need gears and all that kind of good stuff. So if we're gonna do that, if we're gonna have a mine we're already importing food and everything. I'm kind of thinking that we might that we might end up doing a um, oh what's it called here a uh, an industry deal like a little industry park. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna come over here. And I'm going to kind of flatten this area out, kind of knock this back a little bit. Because I think having it at this level will be better than having, you know, this little strip right here. So we're going to work on knocking that back. Plus, if I decide that we need to extend this little canal for whatever reason, I can also do that. Um, you know, just in case. Because I'm like, uh, I'd like to get it to where maybe I could do a tree farm over here. Maybe, possibly. That's kind of what I'm I'm thinking of right now is get a little tree farm going. Also thinking that getting a little section like that blasted out with some dynamite to hold some extra water might not be a bad idea. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll let that run for just a minute. We'll see what we got going. Let's see, we're up to 9,600 water. That's good. 8.6 days of the drought left. That's that's all right. Not, not upset with that at all. Okay, this guy is starting to look a little bit low. Let's go ahead and open this gate for a minute. We'll flood in a little bit of extra water here. 
I'm going to try to not uh, not forget about it this time and waste any water. But just to bring in just enough to last us through the drought would be very, very nice, I think. That'll probably work. Let's see, and how are we doing on dynamite over here? Yes, let's go ahead and detonate that. We'll detonate this. And then... We will add in some more down here, a little bit like so, a little bit more, there we go. All right, eight days of drought left. Let's see, nobody's too far from the of course it's too far it's always too far from the builders i think the game thrives off of telling me it's too far it's like haha we have a chance let's tell him like no quit telling me these things why are y'all not delivering me water this better be a a set of delivery beavers yes it is a set of delivery beavers awesome what are y'all bringing me logs but no water huh oh no i guess they must have i guess one beaver must have carried in the water because i didn't see see it in there so yeah that's good well we got a little bit more water they'll live for another minute or two everything's still looking good over here that finally drained out. Okay, so that that section is now dry. Luckily enough, we still have our little channel right here, so that's going to keep pumping. We're going to keep these fields nice and green, except for the little L shape right here. That's this one little one little bad spot. Feels kind of bad having that one little bad spot there. I don't know. Part of me wonders if I were to dynamite this section right here all the way down and replace it with platforms, if uh, that would probably be enough to keep that keep that area green. But it also depends on the water level. So I think it's, what is it, two blocks above the water and it like dramatically decreases it to where it's only like a couple blocks out, I think. Well, you know what? For right now, I could pause that engine because it's not doing me any good running for the next seven days if there's no water over there. So I'm not even going to bother running that thing. We're just going to leave it as it is. And I think for right now, I'm going to cancel the gears and... Yeah, I'm going to cancel bringing in the gears over here. Um we're going to get something set up so that the mine can run, but I'm not in like a hurt for the metal. I mean, we've got 1400 scrap right now and we'll turn that into blocks here eventually. So like I said, I'm not over overly concerned about getting it right. This instant we got the mine built and we'll run it. So I do think it is an interesting idea though, how they've, how they've decided that you have to have gears and planks to run the mine. Um, <clears throat> it does make sense. I mean, if you're running a mine shaft and you, you know, you're trying to brace stuff and all that, you would, you would need stuff like that. So 100%, it does make sense to use some of these new products to do that. I just was not prepared to do so. That one's still good looking. This one, I don't know. We just let water in here. Now it seems like we got to let some more in. It's like we didn't let enough. Let me let it flow for a minute. Let that guy fill up some. Let's see if we can try not to forget about it.
So as of right now, it's really just a matter of waiting on the beavers to get stuff built, uh, especially over here in this district, get stuff built and go from there. Actually, do we have how many? Because I bet you they had beavers die. Let's see, we're missing one from a pump. Uh, the mine needs beavers. We need lumberjack beavers. So, yeah, we could probably migrate a handful of beavers over. Do we have any extras? Uh, we do have a couple extra. Go ahead and migrate, like, five beavers over there. I don't want to go too crazy with it. And we'll just go ahead and stop that. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. All right. All of this is looking pretty good. They've got that dam in place. Okay. So now we can hold water over here. That's excellent. And this will fill about the same time that this starts filling. Uh, let's see. Unconnected building. That one's still unconnected, huh? Hmm. Huh. I was busy yesterday. I did not have a chance to check on uh, check on that comment again. I need to do that. So we got that. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? This one is unconnected as well. How? Why? I could have swore. Hold on. I could have swore we fixed that the other day, though. Seriously, you're going to be one block off now? Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I can do on that one. I mean, because that's, that's a pretty straight shot. And we really don't have, well, I don't know, could I? I could have swore it was red, though. So if we get overcomplicated with it. Yeah, let's get over complicated with it. Why not? Might as well. Might as well. It's, it's not like we got anything else going right now. So we'll get that built up. We'll see what it does. Maybe going on the back way instead of having to come down and then drop in the round. Maybe we can avoid it and extend it. So it might work. And if it doesn't, oh well. No big deal. Come on, morning. Let's get in here so the beavers can do some work. And we've got this. Okay, all of that is ready. That's good. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a little bit more over here. A little bit more right there. Can I get them to just destroy these trees? Like, they don't have to... They don't have, have to actually come in here and farm them. They just, I just need them out of the way. That way we can knock all this out.
And we're still getting a dead crop over here. Ah, it's because the water's dropped, that's why. I was like, why are we still getting a thing? Yep. Nope, I remember. I do remember. There we go. Yep, go ahead, detonate that. And 10 to, ten to one, I'm gonna need a road. Um, are we out of food and water again? Hold on. Ooh. Okay, what do we got going over here? I saw the beavers with their little stuff. Um, is there any way I can select the beavers? What are we doing? We are thirsty. We have thirsty beavers. And nobody has brought us water yet. So I'm going to avoid some beaver death. And we're going to migrate all 27 into District 2. for right now. <laughs> Some of them just took a shortcut. They said, we're not going down the road. Why are y'all going up there? Oh, you're working. Y'all get over here and get water before you die. Silly beavers. There we go. Alright, now I can migrate them back. Go ahead and migrate them out. Alright. And then, yes, of course, we have water and everything over here now, so they should be good for another day or so. Yeah, getting, getting water over here established will be critical for this little... Little district to take hold. Alright guys, well I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to let the last little bit of uh, time run out until the flood comes in. And I'll bring you all back then. Okay guys, so... It is the end of the drought. We're on day one. Let me go ahead and get this detonated. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's starting to fill up quite nicely. Let's go ahead and open up the gates. And let's let some water flow. So we'll open up this gate. We'll open up that gate. All the water is now flowing. We've almost got all the dynamite up here to knock this section out. Which will be good because once this is gone, that will be, you know, a huge amount of extra water that we can store up here. Uh, we'll go ahead and open up this gate. We'll let a little bit of water flow this way. Yeah, we'll just let this one fill up a little bit. We've got water. It's moving. It's doing stuff. All right. Well, now that we've got that all situated, let me see. Let me come back into here. Let's remove that section of path. 
And let's go ahead and deepen this little area back. Like I said, I'm thinking maybe a tree farm over here. So I want to keep a nice little channel of water. All right. Go ahead and open this one up. Let that flow in a little bit. Now we will open this guy. Let that flow some. How are we looking back here? Okay, so we do got a little bit more water. Let's flow it into here. And he did get that. Okay, good. Alright, we'll let that go for a minute. Okay, so we do got a little bit of water flowing over there, so that should be good. Um, let me go ahead and block that off. We've got, we've got an extra little bit in there, so that's not too bad. Let's see, let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. How full are we? Yeah, we're not too bad. Let's go ahead and shut that one off for a second. And then we will shut this guy off. That way we can divert the flow. And let's see, okay, so we are filling this one up. Good. Great. And let's see, the water hasn't quite made it over here just yet. But we're close. We are very close. Okay, so... Yep, we'll open up that one. We'll let that start flowing in. Awesome. Do they got this done? Yes, they do. Let's go ahead and detonate right there. Oh, I also added in another distribution post, and I put the carrots over here by themselves just so that we wouldn't have a food problem because we kept running into a food problem for some reason. So, not sure, not sure what the deal was, but... We just weren't getting enough carrots delivered. But we should be alright now. We should be cutting down that little bit of carrot numbers. Let me go ahead and drop that guy. We'll let this flow. All right, day three. Getting our water filled back up quite nicely. Oh, we got a little bit of flooding over here. Why did... Oh, yeah, because of, because of that. Okay, so that is flooding out, so I need to go ahead and shut you. Which is okay, because that's not a whole lot of water out right there. Any second now, it should crest over that. I say any second now. <laughs> I'm not going to detonate that until we get the water flowing. Just so it doesn't take away, because that'd be 
a pretty big, uh, pretty big drop in the water. If we remove that whole section right now, so we'll get it ready to dynamite before the drought comes. But yeah, let's let's try to keep water flowing. There it is. Now we got a little bit of flow. And then over the course of the night, that should help, that should help get it going, I think. So hopefully this will be one of the longer, longer wet seasons. Okay, so we are starting to overflow right there. So that is technically good. All right, so that is flowing. We'll have our pumps going. That's good. Now the question is, is because I allowed it to go this way, is that going to be detrimental to getting my water over here to this area? Because we're already drying up. And yes, I know we have this one barrier here. Actually considering taking that out and putting a dam right here so the water is forced this way. But I mean, even then, once it gets here, it's still going to split back unless we force it through or with another dam. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's a test. So yeah, this little section right here doesn't look too bad as far as uh, holding water goes. Now these two flags over here are going to become useless here in just a second. In fact, let me go ahead and get rid of that lumberjack. And we'll probably just probably just put in another uh another path over. Of course, then again, this might not be any good if it well, no, it can't it, it shouldn't overflow that. No, that should be good. Okay. So, let me come in here. Let me see. Let me pause this for a second. And let me see, turn this. Let's go ahead and add a platform. Add two staircases. Run that. Put in two gatherer flags. Or two scavenger flags, I mean. We'll get rid of both of those. And that should be good, because I think we were getting ready to be on the edge of what we could reach anyway, so. Not too bad there. Not too bad at all. Alright, so that should fill up just a hair more, and then we should start overflowing in this direction. Let me check on, and we've got flooding again. Oh, we got a lot of flooding. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've got a lot of flooding. Okay, so apparently that's that's a problem. We don't have... I can open this gate again. Let me open that gate. Let me open this slightly. And here comes the drought. Of course, here comes the drought because it only happens whenever we have a little bit of a flood issue. <sighs> but that's okay because that kind of gives me a better readout of what we're going to have going anyway. Um, our channels are too 
to narrow. Where can I add? I'm tempted to make this too wide and bring this back here and then have it cut off over here. But uh, I don't know. That's to me, that's kind of asking a lot, though. I don't know. I'm up for any suggestions, guys. So, and nothing. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, they don't get the stairs. I was like, what do you mean nothing to do in range? All right. So, yeah, we've got we've got a little bit of a flood issue still. Um, I guess what I could do is I could go ahead and detonate that guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a little delayed reaction there, just ever so slightly. Let me go ahead and get rid of this real fast. That should give them at least time to do something about it. That should have that should have dropped the water level for, you know, just a few seconds. Or at least I would think. Well, it, it kind of did. It kind of backed it off just enough. Still, still pretty flooded, though. I think it's because all of these... I bet it's because all my pumps are filled up. I bet if we could get... Why are they not getting this stuff done? Where's all my gears? That's that's my question right now. My gears are where? We're not sending gears anywhere, are we? To District 2. Quit sending them to District 2. Quit sending them to District 4. And I got a new distribution post that I didn't even utilize yet. Okay. So how many gears do we have over here? 13? And then District 4 is up here. At 33. Okay, so we haven't... They've just been sending them to the other places. Okay. That's fine. Not a problem, not a problem. I was just sitting there thinking, you know, that many pumps shouldn't let this overflow. But yeah, if all these containers are full, then yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do that. So yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to just let that water flow. We kind of open that. Open that. So yeah, that's the next big thing to work on is once all of the reservoirs do fill up and it starts flooding is how to prevent that little bit of a flood. And like I said, normally when my tanks are low, I think all these pumps keep it at bay. There's enough being pumped out to negate the flow in. But when my tanks are full, then yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a different story there. So... Increased water storage could help. And then rerouting some of the water. Like I said, I thought about making that channel bigger, but I don't know. We'll see. What are y'all's thoughts on it? But anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said... Until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.